Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we will unlock the book Jerusalem, the biography. Since the founding of Jerusalem over 3,000 years ago, wars and conflicts have never stopped there. Many of us have the impression that the city is full of religious conflicts, battles for resources, and terrorist attacks. It is as if any tiny conflict could accidentally detonate the city. They say that Jerusalem is the only city where heaven and earth coexist. Those who admire Jerusalem regard it as heaven, and it is their lifetime dream to go there. For them, to die during a pilgrimage or to be buried around the Temple Mount would be the ultimate honor. The Talmud writes, Ten measures of beauty descended to the world, nine were taken by Jerusalem. Those who hate the city say, This city reminds me of death. To many non-religious people, the city is full of paranoia and superstition. Many sacred sites and even houses are located around graves. It is a city of death as the local customs have a special affection for corpse and spirituality. Even the livings wait for their resurrection like the dead. Too many stories neither true nor false take place in this magical city. Some historians say if fictional stories were to be taken away, Jerusalem would have nothing left. In our book today Jerusalem, the biography, the author pours in all he has got to tell us about the stories of Jerusalem. The author Simon Montefiore is a fellow of the Royal Society of Literature. He studied history at the University of Cambridge. His works have been translated into 35 languages and are best-selling in many countries. He has won many important awards such as the Costa Book Award for Biography in Britain, the Los Angeles Times Book Prize for Best Biography in the United States, and the Grand Prix of Political Biography in France. The author has a strong connection with Jerusalem ever since he was a child. His great-grandfather built the first Jewish residential area outside the old city of Jerusalem. Simon Montefiore also hosted a documentary called Jerusalem, The Making of a Holy City. While writing this book, he went many times to the heart of Jerusalem, consulting numerous sources to explore the truth of history. As the author puts it, Jerusalem is my family motto. After its release, the book attracted a lot of attention and received many favorable reviews. Former U.S. President Bill Clinton said, You cannot help but fall in love with this city. It is a great treasure, and this book is worth reading again and again. Former U.S. Secretary of State Henry Kissinger said, Simon Montefiore masterful research and his gift for bringing it all to life make this fascinating work a treasure trove for scholars and laymen alike. Let us now go through the book Jerusalem the Biography in the following order. The first part, Jewish Holy Land. The second part, Christian Holy Land. The third part, Islamic Holy Land. The fourth part, Crusades. The fifth part, Zionism. What comes to your mind when you think of Jerusalem? The Holy Land for three religions or the increasingly tense situation in the Middle East? But no matter what you think of it, Jerusalem is a truly magical place. It's located between the Mediterranean Sea and the Dead Sea where today's Iraq and Palestine are. Surrounded by the desert, the city covers only 126 square kilometers, about one-tenth of the area of New York City. But so many things happen in Jerusalem. Once you understand the history of Jerusalem, you will know how the world pattern changes. Jerusalem has had many names. The earliest ones include Canaan, Judah, Judea, and the Promised Land. Then gradually, it became the modern Israel as we know it. The name Jerusalem appeared as early as the 20th century BC. It was developed from the name Salem. In Jerusalem, the earliest inhabitants were called the Canaanite. At this stage, Jerusalem was inhabited by only a small tribe. Since there were many disputes between tribes, its ruler often changed. Sometimes, it was even occupied by other powerful states nearby. Egypt seized this area in 1458 BC, and those who lived in Jerusalem became Egyptian people. Soon after, when various ethnic groups in the surrounding areas fought against each other, Egypt was heavily impacted and its strength gradually weakened. That's when the Hebrews namely the Jews came to Jerusalem and stepped onto the stage of history. The Jews started to build their own country and their temples in